Now that we've written a general template for processing a bunch of points, let's look at a specific function that works with a bunch of points. We're going to start by writing a function that draws a bunch of points to the screen, or rather, on a background of a certain size. Here's our signature, purpose, and header for draw all points. Now let's write some examples. Here are three examples for draw all points. If we draw nothing, we just get our background image. If we draw one point, we place a small circle at that coordinate on the background. And if we draw two points constructed with two uses of make sum, we draw both of those points with the same kind of small circle. The background image we're going to use is an empty scene. Now let's write our template. I've copied in the body of process BOP as our template. But there's one thing we have to change. Our data definition has a self-reference, so our template should have a self-reference as well. But we're still referencing process BOP. We're inside the draw all points function, so we need to have a self-reference that is a reference to draw all points. Let's fix up our template to be like that. Now we have an appropriate template, and all that remains is to fill things in. To fill things in, let's start with the none case. Our examples tell us this should just produce an empty background. Now let's look at the sum case. Here we're going to need several pieces of data, the x-coordinate, y-coordinate, and a circle image. Circle image doesn't change, so let's just write that into our template. We also saw in our examples that we're always going to use place image. Now we can see that the remaining task is to do something with process point. What helper function should we call? We have an image, a scene, and a function that should take a point and do something to produce a larger image. Here we have two choices. First, we could simply extract the x and y coordinate from some dash first of BOP. That would look like this. This will work fine and all our tests will pass, but we're not really using a helper function here the way our template suggested. A different way is to wish for a function that combined our circle image and our point to produce a larger image. Let's see what that would look like. Here we're using a function that we've just wished for, draw point. We haven't written it yet. It takes an image, a point, and a larger image, and places that image on the larger image at the appropriate point. It's sort of like place image, but takes a point instead of two numbers. Here's draw point implementing that idea. You can see that it's a very simple function, and it follows directly from the template for points. We use point-x and point-y to extract the x and y coordinate, and then we use place image to put the image together. Let's return to draw all points. What have we seen? We saw that following the template constructed almost the entire function for us. What we needed to do was use sum-rest and sum-first to extract pieces of data. We needed to use draw all points as a self-reference inside the function definition, and that was again given to us by the template. And then we needed to combine the pieces of data together with the helper function draw point. Following the rules given to us by the template made this function easy to write, and that will continue to be the case for functions that work on a bunch of points and many data definitions thereafter.